Welcome to 3D Animation! So many of you showed up for the live class today. We have 45 students that are in 3D Animation today and only five students, actually it's six now, only six students have earned an A on today's exit ticket. There are five questions on the exit ticket for today. And the reason I would require you to get an A is simply because of the fact that there were five tasks that you were asked to do today and each question was pertaining to one of the five tasks. They were short, but for some reason, students just really struggled with this today and I don't know why. And if you wanna you know, reply to this email that I'm sending this video in and give me some input about what made it a struggle for you? Was I speaking too quickly in the video? Were you needing to maybe pause and rewind? Were you not fully focused? Were you not in a room that was quiet and was your attention not fully dedicated to the task? Were you rushing and trying to just do the quiz without having to watch the videos? Did you think that there wasn't anything worth value watching in the videos? I'm just curious, what makes students these days tick in the online world? So um, we were basically in the content tab. That's where you find all the lessons and the videos I make and all of that. Um, and so if we're in the content, uh, here's the table of contents. And what we did in class today was we completed the orientation task. It says, use each video below to complete your orientation. So the first thing that you needed to do was to download Blender by watching that video. If you have a Mac, you'll need to go through this step first, so watch that video, and then you'll be able to go back and download Blender. The next thing you needed to do was to download the resources, and you also have to unzip the resources. If you don't unzip them, it might look like your resources are there, but you're not going to be able to open them up inside of the program. Um, here is the resources link. And then the next thing is you're going to watch three very short videos. Here is the first video, where to find answers for Blender issues. This is important. Every time I try to complete one of the projects in the K-12 content, there is some hiccup. Something happens, it doesn't work the way it works in the video, and I have to figure out how to make it work. Well, here are the sources that I go to for my answers, and I want you to be familiar with them and have the confidence and courage to be able to find the answers you need when you run into problems. The next video is understanding the Blender interface. Now, if you've already had 3D Art 1, then you know that I never covered this which is why I'm covering it now, but a lot of students that already have the 3D1 class felt like this was something that they could just skip, but it's not. There's new information in here, and you need to pay attention, please, okay? So that you understand how the interface is set up, so that you can actually get even more creative than you did in our first class. And then the last thing I'm asking you to do is watch a one minute review of navigating the space and you should be opening up Blender and actually engaging on your Blender platform to understand how the interface is working, to play around with it, to become familiar with it. And you should be practicing navigation so that the shortcuts are second nature to you. But after you get done with all of that, you've got to take today's exit ticket quiz, which is found in the live classes folder. Notice that we have a folder for each live class that is scheduled over the entire block. Today was April 5th. So if I click on April 5th, it will take me to the folder that says complete the orientation tasks. And then I can click on that exit ticket quiz and it says, you need to earn an A on this exit ticket. Anything less tells me that you did not complete your orientation. In other words, you didn't watch those videos. 
And here is the link to the orientation tasks, once again, just in case you skipped that part, okay? But then let's just go ahead and get that started. So whenever I have to take a test, I like to set it up so that I can see my test questions in the window and I can also see the content where I'm going to find the answers to my questions. So I like to open that up just like so, get in there to my content, come back into that orientation. And the first thing I'm going to do is just click on the video, how to download Blender. I'm going to get that downloaded. And the first question says, I have successfully installed and opened Blender on my computer. It's working. Ding. Question two. I have created a 3D animation folder on my computer. I saved a resources folder within that folder and I have successfully downloaded and unzipped the resources. Okay, where do you think you're gonna find that? You're gonna find that here and how to download the resources and there's the link. Remember, you have to unzip them. Ding, you're on your way to getting an A. Question three, which of the following websites could you use to find answers for Blender issues? That's going to be in the video, where to find answers for Blender issues. Well, pay attention because there's a none of the above and an all of the above, or you could just pick one. But the four choices are www.blender.org, do you think you might be able to find answers to questions about issues you're having with Blender at their website? Uh, what about YouTube? Do you think you might be able to find some tutorials? What's a stack exchange? And what is this docs.blender.org? Well, when you watch this video, where to find answers for Blender, you're gonna be pleased to know that the answers are in that video. The next question, number four. The Blender window is divided up into editor areas, such as the 3D view editor, the info editor, and the timeline editor, to name a few. How many editor areas show up in the default view below? Well, this is new terminology, okay? And so that's going to be found in the understanding the Blender interface. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to watch that video and not only watch it, but as I'm showing you different things on the interface, you want to pause. You want to open up your Blender program Dun, 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 dun. Size that puppy down, just like you did your quiz. And as you're going through this video, you pause the video and you take a look and you try out the things that I'm showing you how to do. You go ahead and do those things that it talks about in that video. All right, does that make sense? You do that. Okay, if you don't practice, then how do you know how to fix something when all of a sudden your window is looking more like this? And you're like, whoa, what just happened to my window? I can't figure it out. Well, the good news is when you watch this video and you pause it and practice, you will be able to set up your interface any way that you want. And if you accidentally collapse something or can't find something, you're gonna know how to fix it. That's good news. Question five, what number on the keypad do I hit to see the front view? Well, you're gonna wanna watch that video about navigating the space, okay? If you took the first class, it's been a while. 
it's been at least 10, 12 weeks since you have used Blender. So you're going to want to click play. And like you did in the other one, how many minutes is this video? This video is so short. It's two minutes and 39 seconds long. And it's gonna quickly go over all of the shortcuts so that you know how to get around in space. Well, hopefully you guys have all, whoops, I didn't mean to hit that. Just so you know, I, I wasn't intentionally picking a number on there. But hopefully you have taken the time to watch the videos carefully, to find the answers in the video rather than just guess so that you can actually submit and get an A. You have two attempts on the quiz. Um, right now, anyone who has not gotten an A on that quiz, I've deleted your attempts to make sure that you have the opportunity to get in there and watch those videos and complete that orientation to the best of your ability. The purpose of the orientation is not busy work. The purpose of the orientation is to make sure that you are actually prepared to take the class. I hope that makes sense that I'm your teacher and I want you to feel prepared for what we're about to do. And now let's take a look at the plan because um, we've got some things already in there. You should be using your plan on a daily basis in school to get all of the tasks done that your teachers have scheduled for you. You have an agenda view. You can scroll down and get the whole long list. I don't prefer that one. You have a day view where you can see what's due on that day. And you also have a week view, which is my favorite. I try to encourage everyone to use the week view. I only have the 3D animation class showing right now, but I can switch it so that it shows all of the calendars, meaning it shows the calendars for all of my classes all at one time, which means I can see everything that my teachers have me doing every single day. And you can also change the colors of your calendars if you like. So uh, you just click on these little guys right here. And for example, this one says welcome. And if you scroll down, it says directions. Use the videos below. Where are the videos? They're not here. Oh, you have to click more. And when you click more, it takes you right to the page that's in the content, okay? They're linked together, it's pretty cool. This is a breadcrumb trail, so follow that back. And then here was our live class today. And you know what's so cool about this is when you click more, there's the exit ticket. Isn't that sweet? So you can actually go right to your plan to get your exit ticket if you ever miss a class. It's just right in there. And then um, tomorrow, we're gonna get started. We're gonna do a bouncing ball. We're gonna do the 2.01 lab one, and we'll also do lab two. Remember, you have to click more. It says to watch the video tutorial below to complete lab two. Now, you, um, I really want you to use the video tutorials because these are catered to the expectations that I have of you in this class. Um, the way that I would like you to name your files, you're always going to name your files with your first and last name first, okay? No exceptions. It's all explained in there. The other reason why I encourage you to use my tutorials is the fact that sometimes things just don't seem to work the way that the nice little lady in the videos explains them. And she actually goes really fast. So I encourage you to use my video. And then um, after that one, you're also gonna do 2.02. .02. Okay, so pretty easy way of using the plan. And then next week, I've got a few more things on there. On Monday, we'll be doing 2.03 and 4, 5 and 6, and uh, the, last, the last one right here, 6, uh, that one is the final uh, finalization of the animation. And this is where you're going to click on the Dropbox to submit the project. You're going to submit both your final Blender file and the movie. And you're never going to zip files in this class. You're just going to upload them directly. I, I like just no zipping, no zipping anything. Okay. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Okay. And then um, we've got the unit review and quiz scheduled on Wednesday, the 11th. So you can get that done. And then we'll meet again next week at three o'clock on Thursday. So have an awesome week guys.